When I was 30 years old, I bought my first guitar, and here it is right here. It's called the Seagull. And this video is about setting goals. What I'm gonna focus on for the next three videos is your GPA, what I call your goals, your plan, and action. Goals, plan, action. You know what your why is, you know what your definite major purpose is, that's great, that's what's gonna drive you and move you, but where are you going? Now we gotta talk about what do you want? How much money do you wanna make? What things do you want? Material things, we all want certain things in life. Some of us don't think about that long enough. Some of us don't say, ah, that doesn't matter, I don't need that. This isn't about needing that. This is about putting your mind to something and going out there and achieving that. Remember, anything the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. I took that right from the book, Think and Grow Rich by Dr. Napoleon Hill. Anything the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. So it's time to start setting some goals and believing you can have those things in your life and conceiving those, conceptualizing what it would be like to get those things and then making it happen. So goals. Going back to my story about my guitar, my whole life I wanted to be a singer, I wanted to be a musician, but I never bought an instrument, never really played an instrument. And I wrote down in a goal book when I was younger that I wanted to have a guitar and I wanted to be a guitar player. And I'll tell you right now, I'm an okay guitar player. I'm not a great guitar player. I'm an okay singer. I'm not a great singer. But it was a goal in life for me to be a singer and a guitarist. And today, I'm happy to say I can find my way around a guitar. And it was all because I set that goal early on in my life. So what I want to challenge you to do right now in your journal is I want to challenge you to set some goals. The first goal I have for you and what you should have for yourself is where do you want to be monthly, financially, with your euphoria business? Are you here just to make a couple extra hundred dollars a month? Are you here to make a car payment or maybe even a mortgage payment a month with your little part-time business with euphoria? Are you here to replace your current income, what you currently make today? Would you like to be a full-time euphorian? I like that name, euphorian. It's like a Martian. We're, we're like a different breed of people that are focused on our dreams and our goals and we're happy and are, we're positive and we know what we want out of life and we get together with people and we celebrate each other and we encourage each other, empower each other. That's a weird group of people called euphorians. But what do you want? What are your goals? Do you want to make $10,000 a month? Could you imagine making $10,000 a month residual income? Can you imagine making $20,000 a month? Could you imagine being in a position where you make 40 to 50 or even $100,000 a month? Can you imagine that? A lot of people can't. You know, when I, when I record this video for you, I think to myself, my mother. My mother said to me when I first got in this business, she said, oh, Michael. Stop talking about making that ridiculous amount of money. And mom, if you're watching this, I love you. But my mom watched me dream big and think big my whole life, and here I am today to tell you that I've actually made over $100,000 a month in this profession. My biggest check in network marketing to date, I don't like talking about the past, because where I'm going is so much bigger and better, but I've earned over $107,000 in one month in network marketing, and I don't say that to promise that to you, I certainly don't say that to brag or boast about what I've accomplished. I certainly didn't do it by myself. I had to teach and help many, many people become successful in order for me to reach those kind of numbers in life. And I had to help a company hit $50 million in sales in one year in order to achieve that level of success. But my mom would say, Michael, why are you throwing those big numbers out there? No one's going to believe you when you talk about those large, grotesque numbers. And you know what? My mom could be right to a certain extent, she usually is. And for the new person coming in, you might be watching this video and saying to yourself, $100,000 a month, nobody makes $100,000 a month. Well, let me just tell you, yes, there are people that make six figures a month. There are people make, making a whole heck of a lot more than that, multiple hundreds of thousands a month. There are people in this world that make millions of dollars a month. Look at our famous sports players and actors and singers and look at the lifestyles that they have. So I wanna tell you right now, in this video about goals, please don't be skimpy on your goals. There's nothing wrong with shooting for the stars and misfiring and hitting the moon on the way down. There's nothing wrong with setting big, big, big dreams and big goals and going out there and wanting to make it happen and doing everything you can to make it happen. Do you think Bill Gates set small goals? Do you think Mark Zuckerberg set small goals? 
Do you think anybody in life who's ever achieved massive success thought small? Here's what I'll teach you. Think bigger. And when you think you're thinking bigger, think bigger than bigger. And when you think you're thinking bigger than bigger, think bigger than bigger than bigger. And when you think you're thinking bigger than bigger than bigger, think bigger than bigger than bigger than bigger. And when you think you're thinking bigger than bigger than bigger than bigger, think bigger than bigger than bigger than bigger than bigger. And when you think you're thinking bigger than bigger than bigger than bigger than bigger, think bigger than bigger than bigger than bigger than bigger than bigger. And just keep thinking bigger. Keep dreaming bigger. We live in a world of abundance. There's plenty of money out there. There's plenty of people out there. And the only thing stopping you from making your dreams and goals come true is you and your thoughts. If you think bigger, whatever you think about, you can bring about. So let me pull it back for the conversation. Goals. Remember this, you can't hit a target you can't see. You cannot hit a target you can't see and that's why I'm asking you to write down your goals. Put them in paper. Put ink to paper or a notebook. Get a nice notebook so one day a year from now maybe a month from now or a couple years from now, you can look back and say, look at the goals I set for myself and look around me, look what I've accomplished. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't it be great to be able to show your children or your grandchildren, look, when grandpa set these goals and put them in a notebook, look around you, look what we have today. It was all because of this powerful exercise. And remember, you can't hit a target you can't see, so you gotta write it down. I know it seems old school today in the digital age where everyone's on a phone or a laptop or a tablet or an iPad or this and that, but you know what? Writing it with pen and paper and letting your thoughts pass through your hand have magical effects. It's magical. What passes through your hand when you write it in a notebook old school way leaves an imprint on your brain. You'll never forget those things you write down. Check back to your goal book every so often. Maybe every night look at your goals. Read them to yourself before you go to bed. Plant in your mind and manifest what you want to accomplish. But what are your goals? Take the time to do this exercise. Write them down. What do you want in the next one year, three years, five years, 10 years? Map out 10 years of your life. Do it for yourself. Write down what you want the house to look like, the cars to look like the bank account to look like, the investment portfolio to look like. Write down what you want to accomplish in your next 30 days with your business. I want to build a business in the next 30 days with 30 people in it. That'll be a later video called the 30, 60, 90 day plan. So look forward to watching that soon so I can help you set those goals so you can be laser focused on being successful with your euphoria business. Goals are pretty simple if you don't set them you'll never hit them. One of my favorite mentors named Jim Rohn talks about, imagine you're a sailboat in the middle of the ocean and you're just out there and you just go out in the middle of the ocean, you never set your sail. He said the key to success is setting your sail, setting your course and setting your destination. And he said if you don't set your sail, you're gonna end up somewhere, just probably not where you anticipated. And I would say probably, Definitely not. So take the time right now to take your goals seriously, write them down, and write them down with such intensity of thought. Feel yourself in possession of what you put in that paper. And for the rest of your life, dream every single night before you go to bed and imagine and manifest all the things you want to come true in your life. Set your goals. Remember this, you'll never be successful unless you learn how to duplicate. So teaching people what I'm teaching you or sending people to zapu.biz to teach them these things are what's going to launch and propel your business, your team's business, and your success with your euphoria business. See you soon.